Welcome back to another video. My name is Matt and I help people overcome retroactive jealousy. In this video, I want to talk about the power of visualization, the power of visualizing, how we can actually use the power in our imagination and visualizing to overcome retroactive jealousy. And now this idea of visualizing and using our imagination, this dates way back and the power of us being able to do that to enhance our lives and to almost create the lives that we want dates back to Albert Einstein and a lot of his um, projects and things that he would work on, his ideas that he came up with. And one of his most famous quotes he says is, imagination is everything. It is the preview of life's coming attractions. In other words, what we imagine we can become. And again, neurologists and stuff are studying this in today's age and really seeing that fact that the more we close our eyes and see ourselves as how we want to be or see life situations as how they want to turn out, the more that those things actually take place. And so I want to talk to you a little bit about that in today's video and how you can use this power of our imagination and visualization to overcome retroactive jealousy to get the freedom and the love in your life and relationship back once and for all. But before we get started today, of course, if you could take a quick moment and smash the like button, that'll activate YouTube's algorithm and get the video out to more people. They really need to see it. So I'd really, really appreciate it. Okay, so again, visualization, this idea of using our imagination for our benefit, it's being studied more and more and more, the power and the effects of it. Um, you can look up studies right now if you want to on the power of visualizing and using your imagination to basically kind of create create a new version of you or create a, a future self of you that, that acts how you want to act in certain situations. And so this idea is we can actually, you know, if there's, let's say, in the state of retroactive jealousy, we want to be a person that's not bothered by these thoughts anymore, right? We want to be somebody who is, you know, a good partner. We want to be somebody who is not jealous. We want to be someone who's filled with confidence and a lot of assurance in ourselves and these sort of things. So what we can do is we can take some time. It doesn't have to be very long, 10 minutes a day, whatever, and literally like close our eyes and we can visualize ourselves in a situation and imagining ourselves like in that situation and being very confident, handling it very well, right? Feeling our best. We can visualize ourselves not getting intrusive thoughts anymore. Visualize ourselves, um, you know, being very intimate in our partner, being very lovey-dovey with our partner and not having intrusive thoughts. We can visualize ourselves, this is what I would do, visualize ourselves like out in a certain social situation and not feeling that insecurity, feeling confident, feeling complete, feeling exhilarated. Even imagine, I, I would imagine like I'm being out on the town and like a, a, another dude comes up and starts talking to my girlfriend. A, a, a point where I would get super jealous and ah, lose my mind. But I'd visualize that happening and visualizing me feeling calm, cool, collected. Feeling, not letting these thoughts get to me, not even having the thoughts, just feeling extra confident. Almost being like, yeah, if he wants to talk to her, that's fine. But, you know, I know she's coming back to me. You know, there's nothing he can say that will, will cause her to leave. And if it is, that's fine. I, they, they can enjoy their lives, whatever. I'll be okay. You know what I mean? Just a stance of confidence a stance of confidence, whatever that means for you specifically, you know, and, and, and I think that was very big for me because that was one thing I had a big attachment to my partner as if, you know, she completed me. And it's like, if, if she leaves me, I'm going to be nothing. My world's going to crumble down around me. And, and that's not a good way to live because that's not the truth, right? The truth is all we have is us at the end of the day, right? So we, we must feel the self-love and completeness for ourselves, and when we feel the self-love and completeness for ourselves, all the jealousy goes away and we become a better partner because we can't truly love somebody else unless you truly love yourself. When you love yourself, you give them the best and complete version of you. And there's no better love than that for you to share the most complete version of yourself with your partner, with that other person. So again, I would imagine myself um, in that situation, like if anything happened between me and my partner, I'd imagine myself just being okay. And just knowing that that's a part of life, it's another stepping stone of life. What's next for me? I know something even better is coming. I put myself in those situations and it started working out really well. I started kind of gaining more confidence that a lot of the anxiety started to calm down. And, and, and I didn't do a ton of research on this. Now, now I do the research because I find it very interesting. But 
you know, again, different studies and things like that say when we do this, we start to actually wire our brain to act in that way. We, we start creating a new self. The Dr. Joe Dispenza stuff that I, that I talk a lot about on this channel is breaking the habit of being yourself, creating someone new. And you can do that through the power of visualizing, seeing yourself in the situation and behaving in the way you want to behave. That starts to become you, that starts to wire in your brain, firing certain neurons in your brain and neurons that fire together, wire together. So it's about taking the time, closing your eyes and visualizing yourself living in that end result of what you want, living in that new result, the new feeling emotion, that new version of you that doesn't get jealous, that feels extra confident, that knows you can get anything out of life that you want. And it's funny, and you can read about this online in 2014, the uh, coach of the Seattle Seahawks, he um, was kind of, I don't know if it was under scrutiny, but Basically, every practice the Seattle Seahawks football team had, at the start of every practice, he would make all the players go and lay down on the football field and close their eyes and visualize for 30 minutes. 30 minutes. During practice time, this is the first thing they did. And he said, visualize yourself, you know, winning the games, completing the passes, you know, tackling the, the opposing team, whatever it was, whatever your position. Imagine doing that perfectly every single time and feeling awesome and feeling exhilarated. Imagine yourself winning game after game after game, getting your hand raised, going back in the in the um, locker room and, you know, high-fiving your teammates, feeling good because you won. And he's like, and imagine yourself holding up the Super Bowl trophy, holding up the Super Bowl trophy at the end of the season that you did it and, and live in that moment now and feel what it feels like. And what happened in 2014? The CL Seahawks won the Super Bowl. And that's absolutely crazy because he was kind of on our scrutiny, like he's wasting time during practice. That's 30 minutes. They could be completing passes and doing plays and all this stuff, but he's making them lay down on the field and visualize and what's going on here and da da da. And it, Pete Carroll stuck to his guns and he's like, no, this, uh, I, I, I believe in this. I know the power of this. I've seen the studies on this and what can actually happen when you visualize. And that was the year they won the Super Bowl. As, as powerful as that is, that's the absolute truth. So this stuff, actually does work. Visualizing who you want to be, visualizing yourself, mastering every situation that you want to be in, visualizing yourself, being super confident, being super proud, having super self-assurance and self-love. Supreme self-esteem is the word I like to use. Having supreme self-esteem. Being able to get up in front of a, a stadium full of 50,000 people and give a speech with ease without even second guessing anything. There's a lot of power in that, okay? Being able to visualize it because when you visualize it and you see yourself as that and you feel what it feels like to be that, you start wiring your brain to actually become that. And you will become that confident person. You will become that non jealous person. You will become that person feeling the self-love all the time, feeling the self-confidence all the time. And when you feel that, you have there's no other thing to do than to allow others to feel that as well. So you will basically admit that out to other people and your partner for sure. Your partner will feel that and see that. And without even you even needing to try, you will become the best partner they've ever had. Your relationship will be better than it's ever been because you worked on yourself. The answers are all here. The answers are all here. And when we master this, we master all of life. We master our relationship. We conquer retroactive jealousy. If you enjoyed the video today, please take a moment and smash the like button so we can get the video out to more people that need to see it. Also subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so. Click the notification bell so you're alerted every time I post a new video. And if you want some more help, of course, in overcoming retroactive jealousy, please check the links in the description below. I have my ultimate master course that's on sale now. It combines everything I've ever taught on retroactive jealousy all in one amazing course that also comes with 90 days of free email coaching there's nothing more powerful anywhere than this course and this coaching program so please check that out in the links in the description below before you go today um, i'd love to, to help you personally overcome this so that's it for me for now i hope you have a fantastic day i will see you in the next video